Have you all heard of contemplative spirituality? How about solitude or centering prayer? You never heard of those, right? Well, me either. It was reported on WND.com that a major Christian church leadership organization, which brought thousands of pastors and church workers together in Carleton, Texas, this week raised the eyebrows of some attendees because of its promotion of contemplative spirituality. In a workshop Tuesday afternoon, Felina Ewerts led the audience in a centering prayer, which detractors argue opens the door to altered states of consciousness and possibly occult influences. The critics say that centering prayer is non-thinking emptying of the mind in pursuit of knowledge that cannot be perceived through natural senses and the mind. A non-thinking emptying of the mind. Hmm. This definitely sounds dangerous to me. If your mind is empty, void of anything, that means it is also void of any knowledge of the almighty God and his son, Christ Jesus. Furthermore, an empty mind is an open repository to be filled or possessed with who knows what and that who knows what could be evil. This sounds very dangerous indeed to me and it is very unsettling that this took place at a Christian event with thousands of attendees. When someone stands before us, especially if it's someone we don't normally fellowship with and says to us, let's pray, we need to be very careful that we don't just pray along and repeat words out of force of habit without being very cognizant of what we are saying and praying. Please understand that Satan's disguise and methods of deception becomes more and more sophisticated and harder to detect relative to the amount of time he has left. So, so much so that he could possibly fool the very elect per Bible scriptures. He who has ears, let them hear. Thanks for watching. God bless. Peace and love.